People ask me what guerrilla knitting is, and you know, you can say guerrilla knitting, yarn bombing, knit tagging, it's got a lot of different names, but what it is, is using knitting as a medium for street art to make your statement in knit rather than with a spray can or with a sticker or a paste up or, or anything else. It's slightly illegal and it's using the urban environment to your advantage, which is what gorillas did. They were masters of their own environment. So gorilla knitting is getting in, getting out. Number one rule of gorilla knitting is don't get caught. Number two rule would be make it look nice. Yeah, make the one a little bit softer and nicer. Gorilla knitting is an eyesore. It's a waste of wool, that's for sure. Look at all those starving, cold people in Afghanistan that need jumpers and now we're putting them on trees. How dare I? One thing you always do is you put your scissors back in your pocket and your needle and thread and your wool back in your pocket if you have to make a fast getaway. Learned that the hard way. So I started Gorilla Knitting because I couldn't knit a jumper and I didn't want to knit a jumper and knitting a jumper was not going to blow my skirt up. But what was blowing my skirt up was seeing images on Flickr of, of people starting to use their knit in an urban environment and that really intrigued me. So that's what I wanted to do and it was so easy. You just take your half knitted scarf or your little bit and you go out there with needle and thread and you wrap it around a pole and stitch it. it it's much, it was really my skill level actually. <laughs>